and welcome back to Minecraft episode 82. 82. That's pretty amazing. It may not be as many as most, but I think I have the most airtime. If you consider how many, how many, these are full 15 minute episodes, it's probably approaching the 16 hour mark. And that's, that's pretty incredible to me. And I'm the guy doing it. Alright, I just use all my torches. I know I can make more, but my coal is also in short supply. And I didn't bring a shovel with me. But the first thing I want to do is find out what kind of clay mine I've got going on back here. I'm going to get rid of some of this tree first, because I am also almost completely out of wood. And I'll need these to at least whip up a crafting table. Well, I had enough for that, but still. Crafting table. I place it here. Wouldn't that be funny if I placed it and I, I created a, a, a avalanche of sand? That would be kind of cool, because that means I find a cave. Anyway, I need to make shovels. I had a shovel. Darn it. Darn it! I always do that! Ah! Sorry. Anyway... I want to find out how much clay that is. Because if it's enough, and it looks like it is, I might just change... Oh, hello chicken. I might change the barn around a little bit. <laughs> Flinging that everywhere. I might change the barn around to make it a little... There we go. There is an enemy. Enemy. I might as well use the last of my arrows on this guy. And you're dead. You didn't even drop, you useless zombie. Okay. So, let's see. I like this, too, that there's no water touching this. That makes it really easy to dig out. So you don't have to worry about uh, uh, the water coming in and, and making it a hassle. And it looks like that was it. It was a face value clay mine, but it gave me... Looks like another... Uh, 16, 17, 18, 19 blocks that was. Alright. Let's do some torches, huh? That would be smart. I actually might have to postpone this building effort and get out there and, and do some, uh, some caving because I am out of coal completely again and I exhausted what I had in that other mine. So I might have to run around this continent a little bit, find a nice cave. I really would like to find a hugely, obnoxiously, gigantically large cave that I could get diamonds because I'd like to make some better tools. I mean, I love iron tools, don't get me wrong, but I would also like to experiment with diamond armor because I've never actually made any, uh, or at least enough to, like, Legitimately, oh hello. We have an entrance here, but it just gave me some iron, which is good too. But I would like to find a a ridiculously awesome cave, because those seem to be like a lot of fun to watch. You just never know what's going to happen. And fortunately, it's now the day. There's a zombie on the hillside. The daytime is going to help me discover this place that I'm imagining I want to find. And I'm also doing getting a little bit of lag, so Ah Tommy Where'd you come from? I mean I know you were over there, but man, that was he found me fast. I was jumping up the side of a cliff and then uh, Skeleton Whoa that was a close one. You're gonna burn though. You're gonna catch on fire. Yeah Oh, he's a good shot. Almost as good as me. But I have no arrows. I got nothing. So, I've got to run. There's another dying skeleton. <laughs> with his last, with his final ounce of strength, he fired his shot and missed. LOL. 
Okay, this one probably died too, but did he leave behind arrows? Not that it's enough to kill anything. Oh my! We got some mountains in the distance, folks. Some big ones. And that just might be the air. Ooh, wow. Nice discovery! <laughs> Whoa! That's a tall one. That is a tall one. Let's see what it looks like on, on No Fog, shall we? As we approach the canyons. Oh, wow. Well, that's cool looking. Nice waterfall. I'm liking this. This is almost like a, a Moria situation right here. Yeah, that is a nice waterfall. Which I can make it even nicer. <laughs> yeah. Kind of blocked my, my way though. This is cool because this isn't all that far from the base either. I could totally build mine track out here. Let's see what we got around this corner. Oh, did I pick up some mushrooms? I did. Nice! Look at them all! Health food! I just need some toadstools and I'm set. Wow, what did I get? Like 20 of them? 14, okay. That's good though. I find a little passageway here. Gotta get rid of this water so that the volume doesn't, that the sound doesn't mess up. Probably already did, but what are you gonna do? I'm gonna put my fog back down too so that the frame rate is a little better. Because I'm really just coal mining. I should call this the coal pit. For some reason that doesn't sound all that neat. Uh, we've got some caves carved out here. Maybe this will be the one. That could be something. Got a bigger room here. Yeah, I know now I'm running past the cold. Hey. Oh, ah! <sighs> well, he came out of nowhere. Let's try that again, huh? Jeepers. Well, like I said, I am not very far from that at all. And even though I've got to get my things back, this is why I, I leave some things in my chest in my house. And I build my house near the death spot. I actually spawned pretty close to that. But I, I... I need to have a backup system in place. Because you just never know what's going to happen. So that's two deaths now. Two deaths. And I left all my iron out there, so... Yeah, I gotta hurry up and get over there while the light, while it's light out. Uh, the trees still didn't grow, huh? Well, you guys are just stubborn. Anyway, I wasn't too far from that spot, but I have to get out there quick before the game decides, oh, these items aren't being used. I think I'll just delete them. No, you don't do that. You leave them there because I'm coming back for them. I'm not going to abandon 20-some pieces of iron and all my other possessions. That's just silly. Of course, now that I'm looking at it, that, that mountain did start right here in those distant mountains. But it's all right. I know my way back. I left a torch trail. And it's pretty obvious when you get up to this place because the sky disappears and all of this all these blocks start appearing in the distance. You know there's something. I also wanted to go um, a little bit to I guess this is the south or is it the east? Whichever way you faced. I wanted to go that way too because it looked like there was another really cool mountainside. That way and, you know, whatever works. I'm not going to be a, a choosing beggar here. I'm going to take whatever I can get. If I find a cave that hits lava, we'll be set. Because you know what? We might find dungeons. We might find slimes. Yeah, oh, my. This one's even closer. Well, let me come back to that. I have to go get my things quick. And then, if that cave doesn't go down very far, I'm definitely exploring that one. Because that cave looks neat. 
that had a huge entrance to it. And yeah. Wait, is this the right way? It don't look the same as before. Oh no. Don't tell me I'm lost. Oh, I know. This is the way that I was going to go. But then I decided to change direction. I think. Is it? Yeah. That's really weird. They look almost identical. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this a pit? I'm sorry. I'm just. There's so much stimulation right now. It's hard to focus. But now I got it. I ran a little bit further this way because I was on that side of this little hill here. There we go. Yeah, wow, that's really neat looking. Yeah, because here's my, my epic waterfall. Gotta get back here and get my things. And be a little more careful because that was pretty dumb on my part. There's a miniature floating island go in there and get railed by that zombie. I didn't hear him though, that was the problem. He just kind of appeared and that was it. Oh yeah dummy, it's this way. Now you're getting it. Where my things at? There they are. Okay. Now that I got my things, he probably came from back there. I didn't even see that cavern. So let's get a little closer to the surface uh, after I chop out this coal. Because I need. E you don't even have torches, man. That's pretty sad when you're short on torches. Because I think I figured it out that every block of wood that you dig up, which reminds me, I need to get some of that too gives you 32 torches if you've got the coal for it. Now, I don't have to be a rocket scientist or a super mathematician to know that if one of these blocks of wood gives you 32 torches, it's really, really sad if you get a shortage. I mean, seriously. That is, that is bad, and I know I'm bad-mouthing myself, but honestly, a torch shortage? <laughs> I laugh at myself. Yeah, torch shortage. It's just funny because it's so ridiculous. And maybe that's what makes a lot of you come back and watch because you just it you're wondering more as to what kind of idiocy is going to occur over how much I'm actually going to do productively. You know. And look, it makes it worse now because I had torches on me. Oh, now, now I'm trolling. Okay, now it's I'm officially trolling myself, and I don't even realize it. Yeah, <laughs> unreal. But I guess that's what makes it entertaining. So let's just go on a cave raid here, and blindly run through these tunnels without stopping. I should really get that coal up, because these torches won't last forever. Water. Definitely don't need that. But I do need this. The whole point that I came here. And once I get done exploring this cave, I will go back and check out that other one that I stumbled upon that looks really neat. That cave looks like it goes straight to the bottom. But, as we say, you just never know what's going to happen. You know what else I need? Flint! Because I have two arrows! Two arrows is not the good. That's, uh... I can't say that's as sad because arrows take a little more effort to grab. You gotta dig out gravel like this. You've got to kill chickens or zombies, which is chickens and easy zombies are okay. You got to make sticks. So I'm gonna do this now, and next episode we'll continue exploring this cave and see what kind of madness ensues. Thanks for watching.